Welcome. In front of me I have the Polar Pacer Pro, I think that's how you pronounce it. And today I will go for unboxing and it's a quick look of or out of the device. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. We have two little seals, there we go. On SCAD we can slide it out. Now here we have just a bunch of instructions and nothing else, so I'm not even going to bother opening it up. Then we get our watch. Now this is an white and red, as you can see. Gonna set it to the side for now. In here we also have the charging cable. It looks like it's universal. I have a different polar watch right here and it looks like it uses the same charging. So let's just see. Yep, that's the same one. So there's our cable. Now here we also have two pins for the strap. Come on, camera focus, there we go. So we have two pins for the straps. Uh, we also have a strap replacement. It's actually a pretty neat thing. Now the reason I'm considering this a neat thing is bring it to this. So this is a Apple Watch. Uh, the first one and it had similar things so you would clip that off and the strap had these weird things that would clip into the watch right here so if you wanted to use a different strap you needed to go on places like aliexpress and buy basically the same thing that this watch comes provided with so something along these lines and this will allow you to put it on the watch get rid of these these default straps which are basically the same style as this and then put in your own strap on the watch which is a pretty nice thing now it will add a little bit more distance as you can probably imagine but it's still better than not having it included with the watch similar to what Oppo did anyway I'll Apart from that, we also have a longer strap, which talking about it, you can see how the mechanism works in here. So actually that being said, it still uses the pins, uh, so these things, because as you can see, it goes through it, if the camera can catch, though it has these hooks right here that I assume just go through here. So it won't like stick out or anything. Interesting design. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more uh, easy to swap the straps. So it kind of like clip in and out. But it looks like it still uses these, these little pins. Now, let's just heat that to the side and move over to the watch. So we have a bunch of buttons on here. Now to turn it on, I will most likely need to plug it in, so I'm going to do so right now. Anything locked. Interesting. So there we go. Now I'm not actually going to go through the setup right here. Uh, it's actually quite lengthy, uh, all things considered. So I'm going to bring a different device right here, another watch, and you can see how it looks like. Now it looks like this display right here is well completely not touch and paper ink at least by the looks of it. So the UI will be the same, just the lack of colors and, uh, and touchscreen will obviously be more apparent. So we navigate here using, fine, I will unlock it. Do I need to hold it? Yes, I need to hold it. So you navigate using the buttons. So going up, going down, confirming. Actually, nope, uh, so this probably will be a back button, yep. So 
So here we can just go back. Let's see if spamming the confirm button will get me through it. Now it's still a little bit too lengthy. So there's 10 to 15 different screens that you will go through. Uh, so yeah, once you go through it, you'll be presented with a, a home screen similar to this one with a couple options on here. It does act primarily as a fitness band. At least that's how I would classify it. Uh, that's It has a fairly limited UI or options that you have on the watch and that is for a reason so it's running its own os with fairly limited access to applications meaning that it will have a significantly better battery life than for instance something like this watch which barely lasts a day so something to keep in mind uh, that just because you have a little bit more cut down system right here that it can uh, use and do things with you actually gain a better battery life. That's primarily usually what you trade the uh, the simplicity of the watch uh, for. But anyway, with that being said, there's not much more to show you about this watch. So hopefully you found this very helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.